Oh, you're gonna oh, you have you know that skill? You have that skill? Then <laughs> 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 when I fucking spawn trapped you? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am your host, Escalante TV. Now, you guys were probably wondering when that clip was taken. Uh, maybe you guessed 2013 or 2012. But no, I actually, I actually got that clip of the kid shit-talking. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, last night, actually, while I was playing uh, Black Ops 2, and uh, that was on 360. Uh, that was on the 360, I guess, servers um, via backwards compatible. Uh, this gameplay was captured on a Series X, and it looks pretty good on a Series X, running through con um, uh, at a capped frame rate, and it looks pretty smooth, no frame rate drops or anything, but it... it you guys will probably see those glitches through like the servers themselves through this gameplay maybe I, I didn't really check thoroughly but there are some hiccups um with the servers on via backwards compatibility but uh yeah uh this video is entirely about uh call of duty black ops 2 i will be talking about the latest installation cold war uh in a bit but uh yeah let's talk about black ops 2 Black Ops 2 is a very nostalgic game for a lot of the people in the Call of Duty community, uh, in the fan base, and the mo in the older fan base, I guess. Uh, the guys that usually p picked up the game around uh, Call of Duty 4, uh, or perhaps Modern Warfare 2, or perhaps Black Ops was their, uh, their first game. Uh, at least for me, my Call of Duty, uh, my first Call of Duty uh, was the first one, uh, made in 2003. Uh I played it on a very old Dell uh, laptop from like the mid 2000s on it. Uh, my my older brother had like old CD PC games on a rack and one day I was bored and decided to try a couple and there was Call of Duty with the United Offensive expansion. And they were pretty good games and I, I had a blast playing them, playing through all the campaigns over and over again and the expansions. Um... And then uh, I went on to uh, find a Call of Duty 2 disc laying around, so I played that on the 360. Uh, I played some multiplayer. There weren't too many uh, people online back in like 2012 when I was playing that game. And whenever I, I would say Call of Duty 2, people thought I was playing Black Ops 2. Uh, I eventually did pl pick up Black Ops 2 around 2015, uh, th sort of like my late middle school days. And I had a blast. It was my first true, sort of at the time, modern uh, Call of Duty multiplayer experience. E even though I didn't really I have uh, an Xbox One or PS4 at the time. Uh, I still had a blast playing older games on the 360 until I picked up a PS4 in 2016. But um, uh, Black Ops 2 will always have a very special place in my heart as a pretty good Call of Duty uh, pretty memorable Call of Duty multiplayer, zombies, and campaign experience. Although I didn't really get too much into the campaign back in the day. Um, but multiplayer. Multiplayer was a blast. Um, I remember just ranking up guns, uh, trying to like get all the sniper camos. And I eventually did get a gold shotgun. And uh, through, through my old account, I'm playing on a fresh account through this gameplay. Because I'm back compatting uh, a game shared version of it from an old account, Xbox account I had. And um, it, it's still pretty fun to play, except when you have those server hiccups and the modders and hackers uh, sort of come into lobbies here and there. Um, at least for now, as of January 2021, the lobbies seem to be pretty clean. Um, I don't know if people are going through this honor system not to hack the game because of how abysmal cold wars multiplayer is because with that game that game gives me eye strain after like playing like a few games in cold war and yeah i, I just don't find it to be a very enjoyable experience now that the co game is run dry um it, it but what probably won't help is that i i've played the game already since the alpha back in september and then i played the beta and then i played the full release up until now uh, I got up to Prestige 3 and yeah, sort of got bored and 
you know, through through them drip feeding the content throughout the year doesn't help that the player base is already leaving. Most of the player base is already leaving Cold War and playing like older Call of Duties. Like they're they're going back to Black Ops two and in Black Ops three or four. So that's that's kind of a problem. Well, Activision is going to have to pull uh, some sort of trick out of their hat because um, sales for Cold War were pretty low. Um, uh, let's just say that uh, Modern Warfare, right? Modern Warfare made um, the same amount Cold War did up to this point in three days. So that's that's a big problem. When your player base is pretty much low at this point and the sales aren't good. Maybe they'll release um, MW2 Multiplayer Remastered. I don't know. Or perhaps they could chill down with the yearly COD releases. Um, uh, They probably won't. (laughs) Um, They're probably going to ask the next studio to make a game because they want money in their pockets and they want Battle Pass money and cosmetic money. And it's often strange that there's more cosmetic changes in in Cold War than actual, like, in-game changes to the skill-based matchmaking and all the other stuff that makes the multiplayer abysmal and there's almost no zombies content if you're not on uh playstation which they have the onslaught mode but there's nothing too much to play there and we only have the one zombies map and then firebase z coming so yeah um let's go back to black ops 2 um black ops 2 definitely um it's a it's a hit for me i don't know for some people, if it was a miss, um, I actually went back to my high school yearbook and found this uh, page from my freshman year, from my 2015 2016 freshman year of high school. And I found that one of the favorite games among uh, my classmates was Black Ops 2. So it was, it was a nice little thing to find that people were still playing Black Ops 2 even like three years after. And it's nice to see full lobbies in Team Deathmatch for now, at least that's what's keeping the game alive. Um, all the other game modes like Kill Confirmed and ser- well, s- there's some people in Search and Destroys, but all the other game modes are pretty much dead. Um, besides Team Deathmatch and uh, maybe Gun Game, I did I did get Gun Game gameplay um, uh, when I was recording. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that on my older uh, channel, uh, on my older Galaxia 98 channel. I used to do commentary gameplays just like this, but with Black Ops 2, that's how I got into doing commentaries was through that game. I didn't really have a capture card for my 360, so all I did was just um, record clips on theater mode when theater mode was available and pretty much upload like two-minute privated clips. It would take forever, and the quality would be, yeah, pretty bad. Uh, I'll try to show you guys, yeah, this this old commentary. It doesn't look too good, but... That's how I got uh, commentary videos rolling was just playing Black Ops 2 and doing the whole theater mode to YouTube process. But now it's a lot better since now modern day consoles have um, in-game and built-in DVR systems like the PS5, Series X, PS4, Xbox One. They all have um, built-in DVR game sharing systems. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, guys, um, at least with Black Ops 2... It was one of those last Call of Duties that was the culmination of the older era. Um, it was sort of like a culmination of like the multiplayer from Modern Warfare, that that sweet spot from MW2, and Black Ops 1 all all in one because... Um, well, I'm, I'm not just saying that because they also reused um, some guns from the Modern Warfare series and uh, some reload animations, but it just felt like a very different experience compared to Cold War. And I don't know if, if people still have their copies laying around, but I do suggest you try it out. Uh, try it out and see how it feels for you. Um, see how stable the servers are for you, because I don't know how stable the servers will be up until uh, maybe next month or the month after. But I'm hoping uh, these hackers go through an honor system and not try to hack the game, because uh, some people actually do want to um, experience Black Ops 2 if they don't have a PC to play P- Plutonium. Uh, I've played Plutonium. It's not that bad, but still, the player population on um, Black Ops 2 Plutonium on PC isn't as high anymore, I, I think. I don't think it's too high. So it's it's just that that one small percentage of, of gamers that are really trying to keep these games alive until probably they give us a Black Ops 2 remaster, but maybe Black Ops 1 remaster. Um, 
perhaps one of the golden age CODs will suddenly appear with a multiplayer remaster someday um, for for Activision to just uh, recuperate from the, the whole profit loss that was Cold War. And um, yeah, and especially uh, that Cold War is like 70 bucks on next gen. Well, not too many people own next gen devices, but still um, that's 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 going to be worrying for Activision and let's see what they're going to pull from their uh, from their from their hat full of tricks. Uh, but hopefully it's not too scummy other than skill based matchmaking, because at this point, Activision just just keeps uh I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to s sort of fix the franchise through, I don't know, they're trying to sell the game, I guess, not really fix, because I don't think they've done too many fixes, but they're trying to sell this franchise again, but every time they, they get their grubby little hands on it, they just r ruin something. Uh, first loot boxes, and then now skill-based matchmaking. I don't know. I just want to play a fun shooter. I just want to have a good time. I I'm not a sweat. I really don't. I'm not really all about that MLG quick scoper life and, and, and getting those nukes. So yeah, guys, um, um, that's it. Uh, like this video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Call of Duty uh, experience was, whether it would be campaign, zombies, or multiplayer. And uh, yeah, uh, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.